Euromed Balloon Catheter Set NephroQuick. In this video, we will show you step by step how to successfully install a percutaneous nephrostomy catheter for renal drainage. Does your patient suffer from impaired renal drainage or obstruction that does not allow endurological diversion? For instance, as a result of an obstructing urinary stone in the renal pelvis outlet or ureter? Then, percutaneous nephrostomy is the solution for short term urinary diversion. The Euromed Balloon Catheter Set NephroQuick Reference Number 2607 consists of several components. It can be applied in just a few steps and yet combines all the advantages of previously known techniques. Keep the blister pack with the set components at hand. These include the Euromed puncture cannula, the Euromed Lundaquist guide wire, two Euromed facial dilators of different sizes, the Euromed nephroquick balloon catheter, the obturator with catheter connection, and the Euromed filling medium. In addition, with the Cystobag series, Euromed offers a range of urine bags, especially well suited for use with a nephrostomy balloon catheter. Position the patient in the prone position. Give the patient a sedative and perform the procedure under local anesthesia. This patient has kidney stones in the renal pelvis outlet. At the beginning of the application, the kidney is punctured using the puncture cannula. To check the position of the puncture cannula, this procedure is performed under ultrasound and or x-ray observation. Remove the protective tube from the puncture cannula. The puncture cannula consists of an outer and an inner cannula. It has a 17.5 gauche diameter and is suitable for guide wires up to 0.038 inches. The needle length of the puncture cannula is 185 millimeters. For obese patients, we recommend the puncture cannula reference number 2614 with 250 millimeter needle length. Both are completely radiopaque. The trocar bevel reflects ultrasound very well. The special bevel in combination with the material rigidity guarantees precise puncture. In addition, the roughened tip ensures good visibility under ultrasound. Insert the puncture cannula into the cannula guide on the ultrasound head. Now, advance the two parts puncture cannula under ultrasound guidance into the renal cavity system. Ensure that the puncture cannula is always inserted below the lowest rib arch. The puncture angle to the frontal plane of the body is about 30 to 40 degrees. The puncture should be strictly radial, that is to say, perpendicular to the renal surface and through a renal calyx. The puncture cannula has high directional stability thanks to its rigidity and the trocar bevel, thus ensuring good penetration of the pararenal capsule. Once the puncture cannula is correctly placed, open the cannula guide and set the ultrasound head aside. Remove the clip on the puncture cannula only after successful puncture, so the inner cannula does not slide out prematurely. Pull the inner cannula out of the outer cannula. Ensure that the outer cannula remains in the body. In addition to checking the position using ultrasound and or x-ray observation, drain some urine through the Lure Lock adapter. The Lunderquist guide wire serves as a flexible guiding instrument for the balloon catheter and the facial dilator. Application of the wire should be carried out under constant X-ray observation for position control. Remove the protective tube from the Lundaquist guide wire. The Lundaquist guide wire has a diameter of 0.035 inches and is 90 centimeters long. The J-tip, only 3 centimeters long, is flexible 
and has a small, atraumatic radius. Straighten the J-shaped tip of the Lunda Chris guide wire using the insertion guide. The tip must be fully retracted into the insertion guide. Now attach the guide wire onto the Lura lock adapter of the puncture cannula. And advance the Lunda Chris guide wire through the outer cannula into the renal pelvis. Do not retract the wire. Remove the outer cannula of the puncture cannula. To expand the fistula tract, use the enclosed facial dilators in different sizes. The dilators are inserted under ultrasound and or x-ray observation to guarantee correct placement. The facial dilators are suitable for guide wires up to a maximum diameter of 0.038 inches. Pass the facial dilator and charrier 8 over the guide wire in place with a rotating motion through the fistula into the renal pelvis. The dilator's smooth surface and rigidity make it easy to pass with little force applied. Once you have dilated the fistula tract, remove the facial dilator. To achieve the required width of the fistula tract, Repeat the procedure with the larger facial dilator and Charrier 10. Remove the facial dilator. The balloon catheter Nephroquick is used for percutaneous drainage of the kidneys. It is placed using the Zeldinger technique. The Euromed balloon catheter set Nephroquick is the first nephrostomy set with a 10 Charrier integral balloon catheter. The integral balloon integrated into the wall of the shaft allows the catheter to be changed largely without pain, and overcoming the fascia is easier. Besides the drainage eyes at the catheter tip, the catheter has two additional eyes for calicele drainage behind the balloon. This means that urine can be drained not only from the renal pelvis, but also from the renal calices. An alternative product without the two additional eyes for calicele drainage is the Euromed Balloon Catheter Set Nephroquick Reference Number 2608. The semi-solid catheter is made of pure biocompatible silicone, which means the incrustation rate is very low. The obturator included in this set serves as a stabilizer for the catheter during placement. Remove the protective tube. The obturator is suitable for guide wires in 0.035 inches. Insert the obturator into the funnel attachment of the Nephroquick balloon catheter. Push the obturator completely into the catheter and fix the obturator with the connector to the catheter funnel. Do not push in with force. The catheter tip, reinforced with a safety ring, ensures that the obturator cannot be pushed out through the end of the catheter. Push the balloon catheter, stabilized with the obturator, over the guide wire while rotating until it is in the renal pelvis. The conical dilating tip facilitates the application of the catheter as it easily overcomes the fascia. Moreover, the very short atraumatic tip reduces the part of the catheter placed in the kidney, thus lessening the risk of irritation. The filling medium is used to block the balloon on the catheter. Remove the protective cap on the lure syringe and apply the filling medium firmly at the valve of the balloon catheter. The filling medium contains 10% glycerin in aquadest solution. This helps reduce diffusion of the filling medium from the balloon and keeps the filling medium constant. Block the balloon with 2 milliliters of solution.
Remove the filling medium from the valve of the catheter as soon as the balloon is completely blocked in the renal pelvis. The balloon catheter takes up very little space in the renal pelvis due to its size, making it comfortable to wear. Since the balloon is securely fixed in the kidney and thus cannot slip out, no skin suture is needed to fix the catheter. First, remove the Lundquist guide wire before pulling the obturator out of the balloon catheter. Then, pull out the obturator completely from the balloon catheter. To control the position of the balloon catheter, a contrast medium is first injected via the catheter via a step connector, for example, reference number 1523. This way, the kidney region can be depicted by X-ray and the correct positioning of the balloon in the renal pelvis can be found. Thanks to its large inner lumen, the balloon catheter ensures a high drainage capacity. To collect the urine, the nephroquick balloon catheter is connected to a suitable urine bag. For instance, the Euromed Sisto Bag TK2000 Closed Urine Drainage System. If you want to change the balloon catheter, the graduation in centimeters provides a visual indication to how far the new catheter should be advanced. For any questions about the product and its application, the Euromed team is glad to hear from you.